giving away an unopened box of Lorcana, the first chapter, that guy right there, to one of you guys. Uh, from now until December 31st, you can get a chance uh, to enter for this awesome prize. All you have to do is subscribe and join the Discord channel, which is linked in the description down below. Uh, when you join the Discord, it's going to prompt you to select what content you're there for. Be sure to select the Lorcana tag. That way you secure your entry into the drawing. I'm going to be giving away this guy uh, on January 1st. I'll be announcing it on the Discord. So be sure to subscribe, join the Discord, and may the Disney magic be ever on your side. Do you want to win a second raffle entry for the booster box? Well, stick around at some point during today's video. I'm going to ask you a question. Pretty simple question usually, uh, but it's random when it happens in the video. Leave the answer down in the comments down below. I'll do a daily drawing, but I also have some good news. If you stuck around to the end of yesterday's video, you already know. Uh, but if you didn't, and I know you didn't, <laughs> uh, I found something. My local card shop was not supposed to restock, and they did. So I'm going to have a second and third place prize. I found some of the starter decks, the Floodborne guys. Uh, the looks like the yellow blue and the purple steel, purple gray. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna have a second and third place prize alongside the booster box. We'll be giving these guys away as well. So just another reason to make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, uh, share the video. Sharing the video is important. We are trying to grow the channel. So sharing the video is probably the number one best thing you can do. Uh, but let's jump into it. Today we're continuing the trend of mono colored decks. Today we're going to be running Emerald. It's Emerald's turn. Now, before we even talk about Emerald, let's talk about my prediction. Uh, Steel, so far, is number one. Uh, Sapphire is right now number two. And bottom of the barrel, shockingly, is Ruby with the most number of losses. Uh, but my prediction is Emerald is going to shoot straight to the bottom. I actually think Emerald's going to be awful, but that's what I thought about Steel. It still turned out to be really good. So, jumping into the deck, uh, there's not a ton that Green does really well. Green does care about discarding. So, we have Flynn Rider. When he's attacked, your opponent discards. Uh, Gaston, while your opponent has no cards in their hand, he gets plus three attack power. Uh, Prince Drum, whenever your opponent discards something, we draw a card. Whenever Daisy Duck quests, our opponent discards a card. Uh, Donald Duck, at the start of our turn, each player may draw a card, which could fuel Daisy Duck being allowed to discard, which triggers Prince Drum to draw a card. So this could actually be a positive. It's just not easy to pull off. Uh, Flynn Rider has evasive quest for uh, up to four, but he gets... Minus one for every card in our opponent's hand. So he cares about our opponent having no cards in hand. Uh, Bell empties our opponent's hand. John Silver has a reckless thing, which pairs really well with Bell as a one, two follow up. You play Bell. Next turn, you quest with her. Uh, you play John Silver, force your opponent to have to attack her. Okay, great. Bell also works really well, followed up with uh, The Beast is Mine. So there's that. Uh, Hypnotize, Sudden Chill. So there's a discard theme. Uh, the problem with discard that we have learned in recent days, uh, discard doesn't have any strong follow through. Uh, yeah. So watch your out of cards. Like, it's like, oh, I need to try to win the game somehow now that I've done that. Uh, or worse, they have a board I need to deal with. So just like all the other decks, we will likely revisit this one after game one, do some editing. Uh, John Silver is probably our best card for the power toughness. Just looking at it right now, um, I mean, Gaston could be good, but I think we're going to struggle. I think we're going to struggle a little bit having the power to attack our opponent. So that'll probably be the big change we're going to make. Uh, 12 on Inkables. Let's jump in and see if we can't win a few. Ooh, straight in it and first. We don't get that very often. Okay, so John is good. I do have a turn two, but outside of that, I don't really have much going on, do I? Uh, I think I like this turn two just a little better. Let's get rid of all those. Keep the Prince John. Oh, it's a lot of uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's all uninkable. 
There's so many uninkables. Uh, I'm not playing this. I'm inking, right? There's only 12. What are the odds I get any of the other eight in the 53 cards, right? Maybe I can. Then it's a turn two play. That's super greedy. <laughs> it's super greedy. I can't believe all the uninkables we just top decked. All right, are you control or are you aggro? It's aggro. Aggro, aggro, aggro. Okay. No, come on, game. Don't do this to me. Why? Should have quested first. Oh, well. Oh, come on, game. Don't give me all the uninkables. Why? Game one! <laughs> oh, that's going to trigger so many people, too. The fact that I didn't quest for my one first and then put Flynn Rider down. Oh, I got salty commenters typing away right now. Just sweaty typing. Mm, just going at it. Why you're so bad at this game? Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do, opponent? Wow, they actually ran to the timer. There you go. Let's check that Cinderella. Ink John. Ink John. Ink John pass. Ink John pass. Ink John pass. Ink John. Pass. That's how you play turn opponent. You guys say I'm so slow. <laughs> that might be the fastest turn I've ever had. I mean, apart from top decking actual unplayables and being able to do nothing. Those turns are easy. Draw a card and the turn. Yep, the more you play, the better Flynn Rider gets. They're like, oh no, he's gonna discard my hand. I bet you do is a thing. Wish I could. I have to ink everything. Mostly I just want bodies down, I think, so I can attack your stuff. That's the upside. Our deck does have kind of a weakness to needing to be able to attack, but the aggro deck has very weak defenses, so our characters actually do have some oomph to them. Wow, opponent running to the timer again. Their deck should be very easy to pilot. See, I want to play ya, but I can't. Let's get another Flynn down because he'll be able to attack. I'm past the turn. Hmm, do I get Prince? No, I get Bill down first, right? It's gonna take Bill a turn before she can exert. Which will give me the time to get the second Prince John. I'll be able to draw so many cards if they attack Bell, it'll be ridiculous. Two Prince Johns and a bell. Oh, opponent doesn't like that. I'm not sure we deserve the victory, but our opponent wasn't playing very well, so I guess I would have. I think we still would have won that game, actually. Uh, we're gonna make some changes. Ooh, first again. All right, I took Cruella Deville out entirely. Brought in four copies of the new Cheshire Cat, the three-two, who costs two. Uh, oh, I got Bell into John Silver. I also have Flynn into Flynn. It could be my three or my four. So two, three, four, five, six. Inkable confirm. All right. Let's get rid of you. I actually prefer to keep the John Silvers if I can. Uh, the other change I made was I made... Uh, I cut one of the Flynn Riders because it's uninkable, and I cut one of Donald Duck and one of something else. So I could have three copies of Horus, who is a 4-3 for, for three. So just trying to get some power, early power, in case we need to be aggressive. That's all that's for. We'll find out if it's overkill. 
Hopefully the Cheshire cats are enough. Don't forget the, the Enchantress also attacks with Challenger, so she attacks for three as well. She just doesn't defend for three. Oh, I got to pass the turn. So what happens when you play quick? You think you hit a button and you don't. Sorry, opponent. My apologies. <laughs> Can Grotto Power. Teeth and Ambitions. Mini Mouse. I suppose they have another teeth. Alright, play you on two, plays this on three, plays this on four, even if it can't technically be shifted. Play you on five, play you on six. So good, you're still lined up for a turn four play. Questing. Are you gonna do ink teeth? I know you inked a teeth. But do you have a second one? There goes a Maui. You got a teeth for me? Or a character. You're gonna bounce? There's so much they could do. I'm guessing they bounce for Ooh, LeFou. Did not actually expect that one. Oh, they untapped Flynn, that's funny. Oh, another John Silver. That means I got a Inca John Silver. That's unfortunate, but my only option. Alright, we will make opponent discard. This is Primarily so we could draw another card so we have more discard options or more inking options. Ooh, what does the opponent want to give up? They do not know. You know, if we win this game, Emerald will be on track to be better than Ruby. Uh-oh, opponent. What is with the people going to the timer today? Forcing a random discard. Hopefully it wasn't something. Oh, it's goat. That's not bad. That's whatevs. But now we know for sure that they're purple. There's the Horus. Probably going to ink you. I will pass the turn. I don't really care much to trade my Flynn when I can get out my other Flynn. That evasive is probably going to be really good. I'm sure you want things like Madame M. Fox or Snake or Maui to be able to attack in. Let's see if you have the Minnie Mouse. The evasive Minnie Mouse. If they do, they didn't get it. Alright, this time I'll remember to quest first and then play Flynn because I'm a good magic player. <laughs> I know how priority works. Play my hex proof and what would what would what would evasive equate to for magic? Or yeah, what would evasive menace? Uh not quite. Uh ooh, that's tough. One quest for more, but one's a powerhouse. I might need the powerhouse. I almost screwed it up <laughs> after saying I wouldn't. That is hilarious. <laughs> you guys would have slaughtered me in the comments. Why do you literally just said you were going to quest first and then you didn't? Oh man. You gonna untap my guy? Okay. <laughs> we bounce Maleficent for card draw. Or Minnie Mouse to ink. I mean, LeFou's kind of a tricky play, but... Mm, I don't know if that's the right play. And 
another Flynn. I have, I'm not going to be able to draw a billion cards off this, but... I mean, opponent not having a board is great. Or having a hand. Problem is, is they got a pretty big board. Thankfully, John Silver and John Silver will deal with that. Ink and a snake. Every card out of your hand. That's good news for me. That Flynn Rider just gets better and better. I don't know why it keeps on tapping my stuff. They should have saved that LeFou so they could untap the bell. But they don't know about John Silver. I don't know if that Donald's going to be good, but we're going to give it a go. Uh, who quests for most? They all quest for one, don't they? Yep. Okay. Well, let's try to make them two for one. So, let's have him send in Maleficent for sure. And we can quest with Flynn because he has evasive. All right, Maleficent has to attack now. So let's see if they'll do the one-for-one one with Madame Mim, or if they'll let me keep Bell ultimately. It's too soon for a board wipe. Okay. What are we going to do, opponent? They're questioning with basically everything. Okay, there we go. They can bounce them, bounce the LeFou, replay LeFou. Untap Bell, then they don't have to attack. Alright, but now they're on. Oh, opponent, why? Opponent, why? I mean, I'll take it, but why, opponent? Why? Why is he still on minus two? That's not minus two. So it should be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It should be plus nine. Opponent's on plus five. Plus four, because I'm going to be able to stop a thing from doing a thing, and stop a thing from doing things. So plus three. I don't like this. Should go to 15. Should go to 15. That math is sucky, game. Uh... Doesn't really matter, does it? Let's get the Madame Mims off the board. They are the biggest attacking threat, aren't they? Now it's minus one? Come on, game. So we should be at 17. Flynn Rider... broke. <laughs> Are they both going to attack John Silver, or are they going to actually take Bell off the board? Bell quests for three. Okay. 
Happy to do it. We're going to have a bell victory. Yes, opponent. It is lethal. Very upset about my Flynn Rider not working. But look at that. Emerald is uh, skating on through. Going first again. Getting pretty lucky with going first. All right, note to self. Uh, evasive Flynn Rider does not respect Bell's triggers, so keep that in mind. Uh, I like the low curve. It's not very aggressive though, is it? And I don't have a payoff for my discards. Let's see if I can't get a John. Oh, I got a John. Sweet. All right, got to figure out the order here. Probably Flynn. Flynn. Prince John. All right, let's do it. Flynn, Flynn, Prince John. If opponent plays aggressively, then uh, we'll play Cheshire Cat instead of Flynn. Just because he's got the attack power. Tomatoa item deck. Probably running Ruby as well. Could be Sapphire. Been seeing Sapphire paired a lot with... Uh, or Amethyst, sorry. I've been seeing Amethyst paired with Sapphire a lot lately. Right, you're not the com- I don't, I don't have the cards to combo with you, so I'm not going to worry about you. Keep the Cheshire Cat for another hot second. I may be inking it next turn to get Prince John, and then after that it's going to be a- Hopefully we can attack their hand fast enough. Something tells me we're not going to be able to attack the hand fast enough, but I'm going to try. Good Flynn. Prince John. Quest, quest, let's take the lead. Some of you, I'm sure, have asked why hasn't Cusco been included in the deck. Uh, he's uninkable. And I wanted to go with the Bell route and not just the aggression route. I like I like Bell. I like Bell a lot. I like Cusco a lot too. But I think Bell's more interesting. So I went with Bell. Since there's only so many slots for uninkables. Does this take out Princess characters? Yeah. I like this. Discard a card and I'll draw two cards. All right, we got to be careful of a shield. So I probably don't want to quest with my Prince John because if I have the shield, then they can attack Prince John down without Noe taking any damage. Those are fantastic to see in conjunction with those. Love for both of my Flynn's to survive. <laughs> but I'll play it safe with Prince John because he still has some very obvious payoffs in my hand. Our opponent is running Maui, so we probably won't quest with the 1 3 Flynn. Uh, yes, we will. What am I thinking? Of course we will. All right, draw an inkable. Opponent's probably already inked and done stuff. Yep. All right, inkable away. Quest, quest. I will shift you out. I will attack your hand. And I will draw two cards. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. And we'll pass turn. All right, we'll see how crazy my opponent gets. Surely they play it. They're probably going to play Popsicle and then hear him. And so they're going to draw three cards. So keeping them discarded. So the big Flynn is probably going to be really difficult. 
to get to do any lore. They don't want a fish bone. Alright, there goes Little Flynn. Yeah, you can't attack Big Flynn. Stop trying. Now they have to discard a card because they're attacking Flynn's, which makes my other Flynn a little better. So Big Flynn's actually going to get some stuff. And I get a draw card. That's fantastic. Thank you, Maui. Appreciate your service. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Let's play this first. Arguably, I should have played it to see what I got to ink, but I think horse is always gone. So I'm definitely planning on playing Cheshire Cat here. It'll quest for two, and it will deal with Maui. Nice. It's not going to deal with Maui immediately, but hey. Can't win them all. All right. Mono Emerald is outdrawing the toy deck. That's, uh, that's wild. Okay, there goes Flynn. Don't well, tell me you're thinking about the cat. So we're gonna play a Flynn and a Daisy Duck? I think so. All right, this will get Maui off the board. Maui has to attack. Cheshire Cat's got an ability. This quest for World War II. Okay, yeah. No, they hear him into nothing. And I got three, four, five, six, seven. I have victory on board. Nice, I don't even have to get crazy. I'm still all plotting for three turns out from now, but I guess we've already won the game. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's make him discard a card. Get maximum value out of my Flynn. <laughs> Flynn Rider victory. We're going undefeated. This is weird. I like going first. Like it a lot. And it's happening all day today. <laughs> Which could play a part into why we're doing as well as we have. Uh, that's definitely my turn two. Don't need you. Don't need you. I'd like to get a little. Fl a turn one flu would be sweet. Not going to get it. Okay. Daisy Duck partners really well with my John. Ruby! Well, I already know what my turn three is going to be. It's going to be John. Alright. This is my opponent's turn for a teeth. Or they're going to bounce it, aren't they? Yeah, they're playing Amethyst, of course! Comes the snake. That's fine. It's fine. Try to save the enchantress for an attack. I think she's more valuable as an attack against this deck. And happily take down that snake. Got a greetings from Adrian Ember. Ember Isle. Maleficent. All right, I think Daisy Duck's the better play. Especially if our opponent quest with Madame Mim would take it out. 
Oh yeah. I think that's a no-brainer. Get rid of that. This is super unfortunate. But I think that's worth it. Whoa, why didn't my challenger work? What the heck? Well, while being challenged... While being challenged, I'm very unhappy right now. I just threw this game. Yep, that's what happens when you make misplays. You just lose the game. <laughs> oh, second. Oh, I ruined my winning streak and my first place streak. Dang it. Then it was 100% my fault. Reading the cards explains the cards and I wasn't reading them. I don't need two flins. Two, three, four. I mean, I got a curve. Let's respect the curve. Adrian again. That's fair. <laughs> Definitely no Donald Duck for me. Pass the turn. Opponent's gonna go for it, man. I really would like to have. Would really like to have a little Flynn get this guy out quickly. Punish my opponent for playing out their hand like that. Okay, get something with a little bit of a butt, and then I'm gonna get a Cheshire Cat down. Or perhaps I'll attack their hand first and then get a double play. I'll probably get a Cheshire Cat and then do the other two. Let's do it that way. Possibly get my Flynn down as well. My opponent's going to be aggressive AF, so I'm definitely doing Flynn first. So I can attack that Minnie Mouse. Oh yeah, they're just going straight for it. I might be able to just outvalue them by questing. If they're just going to dump their hand like that. Uh, let's see, I think attacking their hand is probably a really weak strategy right now. If I could have their hand empty, Gaston would actually do some damage, but that's not going to be the case. Let's see, Daisy's a good attacker. Or Daisy, uh, Bell rather. So let's Cheshire Cat. The Chandra's not nearly as much. Gave it the Challenger. Okay. Hmm, not sure we're going to be able to keep up. Opponent's able to... They have much lower, cheaper characters. Oh, could attack the hand here. Then I'm only questing for six. I need to defeat this uh, Minnie Mouse and all the other characters. It's just not enough power to get down quick enough. This one does nothing. It needs to be attacked, which opponent's not going to do that. The opponent's going to get all this damage before I get a chance to swing or all this uh, lore. So they get two, three, four, five, six, right? And then I take this down finally and get to take something else down and they still get one, two, three. I think opponent's just too aggressive. I can't keep up. All right. Well played opponent. I can't keep up with you. You're too fast for me. Too fast for me. 
Ooh, there we go. Going first. Time to get things back on track here. Oh, I got the bell and the John Silver. Okay. I actually kind of like the hand a lot. There's no turn one play, but it's fine. I have some, I have some aggressive plays. I think I will start with the Flynn, go into Cheshire, then Horus. Depends on how aggressive my opponent is. Then get to Bell. We might even end up inking the Sudden Chill. If we can pull off Bell. It just depends on what my opponent's doing, what they're playing. Sad Beast! It's a steel deck. Alright, opponent's gonna have nothing but removal. It's fine, we can attack their hand in the meantime. Might just try to devastate their hand. I don't got any payoffs for it. Nah, we're gonna ink these. Alright, so we're probably not going to try to let my opponent two for one me, so I'm probably going to play the Cheshire Cat without questing Flynn, and then quest Flynn, or quest Cheshire Cat, rather. So if they want to attack, they have to at least trade. Hmm. Still requires they get to turn six, so I don't need you. Play the cat, pass the turn. The funny thing is with the Bell John Silver combo, I don't need to play my discard cards because they're going to discard the entire hand. It's a little slow. And opponent could have the answers like Smash and whatnot, but we'll see. Big Captain Hook. All right, swords isn't enough, but it does mean Cinderella could take down the cat instead of their Captain Hook. Hmm, develop another character or attack their hand. If I attack their hand, we might see a whole new world come down. He can't be challenged by things with three or less. Yeah, so I really need Bell or John Silver if I want to deal with that Captain Hook. I have a feeling opponent's going to whole new world me. Let's get something with a little oomph down. Horus with his big gut. Okay, good. I mean, I'm happy to take Cinderella down too. That way we're not seeing a shifted Cinderella on turn 5. Ah, whole new world! It does make Flynn's and the whole discard thing kind of... Not good. <laughs> Because you're like, oh, I just about got my Flynn's flaw. Oh, they have a full hand. They have a full hand. Flynn's do nothing again. And they can't be inked. Alright, so I lost pretty much everything of value. Right? Right. Horus can't attack Captain Hook. In fact, my only things I could attack Captain Hook are both two powered, which really sucks. Quest for one, though, so that's not so bad. Hmm. Well, this Cheshire can at least trades with either one of those. Maybe that's what I need. Let's ink you. Let's get both the cats down. Everything on my board trades with both of their attackers there. And at least one of my cats trades with Captain Hook. If it could manage to get Captain Hook to attack it. 
which I suppose I could have done. Wow, another whole new world. Actually, that's fine. The Flynn's were really not going to cut it. Wow, come on now. I'm seeing all of these guys. There's a bell. A bell plus one of those is actually not that bad. <laughs> Naturally, opponent got the swords. We're going to see a trade right there. Cheshire Cat still trades with the uh, Prince Eric. So that's fine. I will instantly do that. Alright, I'm basically just playing Bell, aren't I? Alright, let's hope my opponent doesn't have another whole new world. And if they do... Of course, they got smashed. Never mind. We knew that they had smashed in their deck, right? Because it's steel. So we're two worlds, two swords, two smash down. And I am two bells down. Okay. This is not a game we should win. Between the swords and the whole new world, it completely wipes our entire deck. It's not a game we should win. <laughs> Let's see. These just became useless again. So we're going to see a big Tinkerbell. But playing this right now is bad play. Uh, Tinkerbell and another sword swipes our board. But I mean, we're not really doing anything else, right? We got to try to just quest for the win. Normally I would have played an Enchantress, but like I said, I don't, I don't want to see a big Tinkerbell. And just see this wiped instantly. I'd rather see Tinkerbell come down first. And then play the Enchantress. Swords, yep. That early Captain Hook is great for him. It's been able to sing every single song. I can... Well, I can totally discard their hand. I don't have any payoffs for it, but we'll stop my opponent from doing stuff. Uh, let's see. That's going to be free, so I got five ink to play with. Could be six. Quest for two. Attack my opponent's last card. Was it a Tinkerbell? Did they have it? Oh, it was a whole new world! <laughs> oh, opponent trying to deck me. Oh no, not sad beast boy. Alright, I imagine little Tinkerbell attacks. Really? Sent your Captain Hook in, okay. It's fine. That Cinderella is going to be a nightmare, though. Opponent's got a pretty good sized quest board. Alright, we'll play a Prince John. That actually did a thing. That's funny. That almost never does a thing. Now, discard your card. I'll draw an additional card. What do we, we make you draw and discard? A do it again. Eh, that's probably a pretty good target to get rid of. Would like to play the other one. Question is, do they want to get rid of Donald? It is extra card draw for him. But they have their beast. So I suspect he's going to go. Tinkerbell probably takes down Enchantress. Because Hook will die to it. Oh, yeah, they're definitely defeating Donald Duck now. He's got Challenger, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yeah, 
but it has way more questing. So I need to take down at least two points of questing. It's not possible, is it? I could take down the beast, but then I'm not making any progress myself. And I have to take down the beast, don't I? And then they're still at plus eight and they still win. All right. Well, that's more in line with what I expected from Emerald. The fact we got victories at all is probably a big... M misunderstanding? <laughs> All right, direct message me, uh, who's your favorite character from Avatar? That's what I want to know. Leave whatever you want in the comments. That's going to do it. Very easy, very simple. And for the post-game wrap. Ah, <sighs> yes. It did initially way better than I thought it was going to do. But in the tail end, it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Uh, it's going to struggle to make the discard matter, or get value off of it in general. If you don't got Prince John, you have no value, so banking on a single card in your deck, that's tough. Uh, and then, yeah, you just have to have opponents that can't deal with your board, and there's just too much. Almost every deck runs some form of removal, and some form of board wipe. They're either running Steel or they're running Ruby, and there's going to be removal and board wipes in both of those. Uh, yeah, deck doesn't do well against either color. And then, yeah, any deck that can draw cards, which is also all of them. Those are the two biggest things that all the decks want to do. You want to make sure you're drawing cards, and you want to make sure you do you have some kind of board wipe. Uh, those are the two most important things for any deck that wants to be sort of competitive, you know, even semi-competitive. This deck loses to both of those things. So the fact that every deck wants to have them, and this deck is bad against both of those things, uh, yeah, so that's why I suspected Emerald was going to be very bottom of the barrel because the thing it wants to do it just Gets defeated by the thing that every deck needs to do uh, Yeah, so the fact we had a couple wins was Brilliant I was thrilled to see that it happened at all, but I did expect to lose every single game today because uh, It is my opinion that Emerald is in fact the worst color in Lorcana right now. Hopefully the next set changes that, but right now I think uh, Emerald is in fact the worst color. Uh, as far as rankings go, I'd have to retally the videos. Uh, let's see, I think we got, was it two wins? Was it three wins? I think we got three wins and then three losses, which makes it about 50-50, which actually, technically, if we just went off of today's data, uh, it is slightly ranked above Ruby because I think Ruby lost most of its games <laughs> so yeah slightly barely a sliver ahead of Ruby so we got steel at the top uh, sapphire then emerald then Ruby currently just based on the win loss ratio of the games I've played uh, but that's gonna do it there are links in the description down below for the deck list if you want to try it out for yourself also for the discord remember if you want to get in on the booster box uh, you have to be a member of the Discord. Uh, you also need to share the video. Uh, I'm going to repeat myself again. I don't ever repeat myself, but I do need you to comment anything you would like in the comments down below. And then uh, for the uh, daily raffle, direct message me. Uh, what did I say? Who's your favorite character in Avatar? If I said something else about Avatar, it did, pick either one. It's fine. I think it's who's your favorite character in Avatar. Uh, but the other thing that's really important is to share the video. Uh, these types of decks, I know a lot of my audience likes the jank, but the jank decks are very bad for growth. So in order to see more jank decks, we need to also still see the growth. And sharing the video is the number one way to do that. So if you guys want to share the video, we could keep playing jank all day long, every single day. Uh, that's going to do it. Links for Patreon, Discord, and the deck all down there. Two videos ahead of everyone else for the Patreon. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.